out here tonight fighting this bit of a fire. Uh, got a lot of blady grass, a lot of rubbish grass here that's got to go. Make way that way for better green feed. We're strategically burning a couple of small areas to give the deer some better feed. Pull some deer in where they uh, might be causing a bit of trouble and allow our members to uh, take a bit more great venison. Let's get out of this, this flame. It's getting a bit hot here. A lot of people say that managing Javan rooster deer is difficult. I find it as easy as stealing corn from blind chickens, if you do it correctly. Now, three weeks ago, we burnt about 300 acres through the middle of this property here as a fire break. And it was much needed because we had another bad fire come in the last couple of days and we used this as the first stage of our block to keep that fire under control. But what it's done here three weeks down the track it's, it's shot back, there's green feed in here, we're still in drought conditions in the whole area, there's very little water in the hills, but it's drawn all the wild deer. Everything has come down onto this green patch of feed. So it gives us a chance now as wildlife managers to ascertain the whole, the overall number of the herds and the quality. We can look at these herds, see the amount of breeding females to fawns, we can then ascertain the number of spikers, which gives us an idea of survivability through to, uh, from season to season, and we can get an overall estimation of abundancy. Now, back in 2007, I did the uh, UQ Gatton uh, Wildlife Management short course, and as part of that, I had to write a paper on an estimation of absolute abundancy of a herd and why it was necessary. A lot of people say it can't be done, but I was drawing on the knowledge that, that we gained from the research done by the Ridge Group, right from their inception back in 1992, where we have been looking at how to manage wild deer better. Now, a lot of this information can be found on the uh, www.theridgegroup.net website and on the Clark McGee's Wild Country online show. This is quality deer management. This is getting a herd and turning it from what is regarded as a pest into an asset. Back in the old days, in the deer trapping days, in the 80s and 90s, we used these techniques to bring deer from, to draw them in from sometimes 10 or 15 kilometres away so they could be caught. At, at this part in history, when landowners are getting pressurised to get rid of wild deer off their country, this is a technique that they will use to exterminate deer. And this is where it's quite a dangerous situation we're heading into. A lot of hunters are pushing for access into state forest areas for shooting, not for hunting. They want to get in there and they say to eradicate these nasty pest animals. We've got to be very careful what we ask for here. If gaining access to state forest country for hunting increases the level of poaching on landowners' freehold country next door, we will lose the grace of the landowners. Poaching has been so bad in Queensland, it has really driven a lot of landowners to the point where they hate every hunter. They lock their gates, they won't let anybody on. They have stopped access. People complain about no access, but a lot of it is self-made. Poachers have done the wrong thing for decades. And because of that, they hate the deer. So if the pressure increases, then they will bow to the pressure from biosecurity, which is saying you've got to control these deer, and they can then eradicate the whole lot. The key to managing deer in Queensland are the landowners. If landowners see an economic value in having those deer on their property, they'll keep them here. But if they see that they burn a paddock to spell it so they can put their wiener cattle in later on, you know, and, and do the right thing, or they grow a crop, a small crop, and it gets up this high, and then suddenly 200 deer swoop on it, unless they're making an economic value out of those deer, they will get rid of them. They will not stand it. 
if you don't think it's possible, get up in a helicopter and fly over this country and see. If you lose the grace of the landowners, you lose the lot. It's like a bathtub. If you pull the plug out on freehold country, everything runs down the drain. So be very careful what we ask for, hunters. State forest hunting must be regulated correctly. It must be seen as an asset to landowners, not a threat. This is our world. This is our wild country.